Hey, Mrs. Votishan here. So today we're going to be playing a trivia game about metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. But first, we're going to go ahead and review some of the properties and locations of these components. So first up, the location. You can see that these are color coded. So green are all going to be the metals. Notice our metals are located on the left hand side of this staircase that is down the center. Um, like, well, kind of on the right hand side of the center, right? Um, and all of the left hand side pretty much is metals. With the exception of this one non-metal over here, hydrogen, which is in purple, the rest of the non-metals are going to be located to the right hand side of the zigzag line or staircase. Um, and then they're mostly in the upper right hand corner, right? Um, our metalloids are the ones in pink and these are the ones located at the zigzag line or staircase. And there's not very many of them on the periodic table at all. So let's go over our properties. First up, properties of metals. Um, so here are some of the classically known ones. They have high, high boiling points and high melting points. They're very ductile. Ductile means that you can um, draw them into a wire, okay? They're malleable, which means that you can smash them into a thin sheet, kind of like um, aluminum foil. Think about that, right? Um, they are mostly all solids. They're good conductors of electricity and heat. Um, they have high densities and they're gonna be lustrous. And lustrous just means shiny, okay? Now let's go over some of the properties of a non-metal. So non-metals are the exact opposites of metals, right? When it comes to properties. So they have a low boiling point and low melting point. Um, they're dull. In this case, that means that they're not lustrous, they're not shiny, they're dull, okay? Or it's like flat. They're brittle, which means they break easily. Um, they can even crumble. They're very poor conductors of electricity and heat. They have low densities. Um, they're mostly gases. Uh, and then a classic example of neon, okay? So let's go ahead and look at our properties of metalloids. So metalloids are right there in the middle um, for properties of metals and nonmetals. In fact, they can take on traits and properties of both of those um, or either of those. But the ones that you need to know for sure are gonna be the semiconductor. Whenever you see this word semiconductor, automatically assume it's gonna be a metalloid, okay? Um, now they can be dull or shiny, they can be brittle or malleable. So this is where it can go either way. It can take on properties of metal. It can take on properties of a non-metal, but the semiconductor is a hundred percent guarantee that you are talking about a metalloid. And all that means is it can conduct electricity and it does conduct heat well, but not extremely well, like a, um, element that has a high conductivity, right? So it will conduct it just not as efficiently as something that has a high conductivity. All right, so here is our trivia game. You're gonna get eight questions from me. Each one, I need you to tell me, is it a metal, a non-metal, or a metalloid? You're gonna be given three clues um, for each one, and what these three clues or three properties is really what they are. You're gonna tell me, combine those, what is this particular element? A metal, a non-metal, or metalloid? And you get one point each for getting them right. So let's see how we do in this game. Are you guys ready? Let's get a good one. So first one, it is ductile, lustrous, and malleable. So you can pause the video and you can think about, is this a metal, a non-metal, or a metalloid? <clears throat> and here's the answer. It is a metal. Those are all properties of a metal. Let's look at our next question. Okay. So our clue properties are dull, brittle, and a low density. You can go ahead and pause it and think it through. All right, here we go. And it is definitely gonna be a non-metal. All three of those were properties of non-metals. All right, next one. Semiconductor, brittle, and at the zigzag line. Think this one over. And the answer? It is definitely gonna be a metalloid. Um, so this was at the zigzag line and they were semiconductors. That's a dead giveaway. It's gonna be a metalloid, right? Next one, we have a gas, poor conductor, and it's brittle. And here we go with the answer. 
This one is going to be a non-metal. Let's go to the next one. This one is very dense, high boiling point, and malleable. Pause it, think it through. And this one is gonna be a metal. All right, here we go. This one is left of the zigzag line, it has a high melting point, and it's a solid. And here's the answer. It's going to be a metal. All right, next one up, it's brittle, dull, and a semiconductor. And here's our answer. It's a metalloid, so don't let that fool you because the first two clues were really through leading you to the non-metal, right? But then boom, with a semiconductor, automatically assume it's a metalloid. All right, here's our last question. So left of the zigzag line, a low melting point and low density. Go ahead and pause and think this one through. This one is the most tricky of them all. All right, let's go ahead and look at the answer. So this one is a non-metal. Um, now this one probably threw you off, right? Because two of those were properties of a non-metal, but the other one said left of the zigzag line. Well, the majority of elements on the left of the zigzag line are all metals, but there's one, remember, hydrogen that is left of the zigzag line that is a non-metal. So this one indeed was referring to hydrogen. Hopefully you got that right. Go ahead and tally up your points. It's out of eight, and you can see how you all did on this trivia game. Thanks for playing, you guys. Hey guys, if you found this helpful or you enjoyed playing this game today, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel to see all the new videos I'm posting on Science Explained. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.